Hey guys, this is Cubos Cube, and today I wanted to make you a video about Tinker's Construct and the hammer. Uh, I'm going to call this the most practical hammer in Tinker's Construct because of the fact that it is easy to repair as you're mining. Because its repair material is made of what you're mining. Uh, so it's going to be really cheap to fix. The durability isn't going to be too high, but that's not going to matter because you can fix it at the drop of a hat. So let's take a look at what we got. Both hammers that I'm going to look at today use the stone hammer head. Uh, if you're going to be mining in the nether with this hammer, I would recommend using a netherrack hammer head. Now, both hammers use a paper tough rod, and they both have the same modifiers, except for the fact that since this one has two extra paper pieces than this hammer, I have ten more, uh, two more modifiers worth of redstone. Now, I, uh, let's just, I'm going to go ahead and build these for you. Now, you do not need both of these, but this one it's easier to add modifiers. So let's build our hammers. Here is the obsidian hammer. Here is the paper hammer. As of right now, they both have pretty shoddy stats. 107 durability for paper, uh, 278 durability for the obsidian. 2.4 mining speed for the obsidian, 1.07 mining speed for the paper. Now, I'm hoping that the paper having extra modifiers allows for 20 redstone, uh, yeah, 20 redstone levels to outdo the one point of speed, because that's what I'm looking for, the fastest practical hammer I can get. Now, let's do modifiers right quick. So there's three types of modifiers you can add in Tinker's Construct. A diamond with a gold block, a quote unquote notch apple, or the golden apple made with solid gold blocks instead of gold ingots, and a block of diamond, and plain old nether stars. That gives us three extra modifiers. So we have nine modifiers and seven modifiers. So to counteract the terrible durability on both of these hammers, we're gonna add a diamond. And then on both hammers, we're going to add luck. And since this doesn't stack with anything, I'm going to mess up my little tutorial shack here. <laughs> here we go. Come on. Very nice. Huh. <sighs> Tinker's Construct Modifiers. It's a labor of love. Alright, let's take a quick look-see-loo. Uh, so far, we have, for the uh, Obsidian Hammer, uh, still the same mining speed, 278 durability, 670 durability for the paper, a little bit slower. And now for the hopefully saving factor on both of these hammers, the redstone. Now since the redstone can only be added in modifiers of 10 at a time, I'm going to be using the tool forge. And here we go. Let's see what we got. 18.4 uh, mining speed on the obsidian hammer and 26.27 mining speed on paper hammer. Now, the paper hammer is faster. That's neat. Now, I'm going to do a quick switch around of inventories, and this one is actually made of the wrong stuff. I forgot which one was which, I think. That one was the obsidian one. Yeah, one of these has... Oh, Incredible durability, because it's made of manual and not obsidian. And then both of these paper hammers are the same. Completely identical. So, uh, let's go into this little makeshift mine here. 
do some testing, shall we? There we go. And this is the obsidian hammer. It mines quickly. That's cool. It's fine and dandy. You're giving me cave noises already. I hate cave noises. It's gonna go for a ways. Let's try the paper hammer. It has a noticeable mining speed difference. And a very noticeable durability difference, too. Whereas the obsidian hammer has reinforced three on it from the obsidian. Or was it reinforced two? It's one of those two. It takes much less damage than this stone hammer. This paper hammer. And it's broken. I wonder... I have Blatania installed also, so I'm kind of curious to know if you can fix tools in Blatania, which you cannot. That kind of ruins my plans. I was hoping that I could use a manufacturing halo to automatically repair my hammer anytime I want mining. So, it's really more or less just a question of how often do you want to stop to put down a table. And we'll go ahead and do it right now, see how long it takes. How much cobblestone it takes to fix a paper hammer. I'm gonna break this obsidian hammer right quick and come right back to ya. Okay, so we broke the hammer, and we've actually filled up our inventory with cobblestone. So let's see how much cobblestone it takes to fix a broken hammer. So that's about halfway. Okay, so fixing the obsidian would not be hard. We would just outline the whole entire table with cobblestone and then add four more once you're done. Put the hammer in and pull it out three times. Now this fella here, it's looking like it might be just about the same story. Nope, a little bit more than that. Okay. So for the paper hammer, you would have to fill up the entire table three times, then add, I think it was three more. So you'd have to put the hammer in and take it out four times. And that, my friends, is my view on the most practical hammer. Now, because I don't mind stopping and fixing a hammer, I think that I'm going to personally use the paper one. But if you don't like fixing your stuff, you can use the obsidian hammer, no problem. Uh, one more quick look at the supplies you need to make either one of these hammers. For the obsidian hammer, you need 45 lapis blocks and whatever you want to call those, not blocks. One diamond, well, excluding modifiers, one diamond. And then 25 lapis, uh, not lapis, redstone dust and redstone blocks with 16 obsidian to make the plates, 8 cobblestone to make the head, and then three stacks of paper, or I think nine or six, one of those two numbers of paper to make the tough rod. And then, same over here, lots of paper, some cobblestone. 35 modifiers worth of redstone, one diamond, 45 uh, levels of lapis, and then all of your modifiers, one diamond, Nine gold plus eighty-one gold, so eighty-one gold total or whatever. More diamonds and another star. Easy peasy, right? Seems cool. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Boom! Look at me. I got magnets.
Isn't that cool? I love Botania. It's lovely. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. So, carry on with your day. And next time you play Tinker's Construct, keep this in mind. One quick note that I'll probably edit in to the beginning of the video with annotations or whatever. This hammer will not work for <clears throat> the default settings if you have Iguana Tweaks installed on your Tinker's Construct build. The reason why is that Tinker Tweaks does not allow you to make cobblestone tools. You can make them out of flint and such, and I don't think you can use paper either. In all, Iguana's Tweaks makes it a little bit more realistic to play with Tinker's Construct. These sky visuals are fantastic. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Feel free to come check me out on Twitch sometime. I have the uh, same username as on YouTube. I just really like this sky. There are stars in front of the moon. As a matter of fact, it looks like there's two sets of stars. It looks like there is. Probably one set added by Botania and one set added by Minecraft. I'm done reminiscing. I'm just ready to get this video over with so I can edit it. Catch you later. Bye.